What's up guys, I'm Kay Scholl. Welcome to another financial awareness video. So today we're talking self-employed taxes and how I prepare for our federal annual tax return. But you know what though, hold up. I gotta go pick up my kids from school, so let's just talk about this in the car. Do you, do you wanna talk about this in the car? Let's take this in the car. Road trip. Okay, so there are three things I do every single year to help prepare for filing my annual federal tax return, and they are, number one, I schedule a one-hour phone conference with my CPA. Number two, I review my P&Ls. You guys should be doing that regularly anyway, but I review my P&Ls before I send them to my CPA. And then number three, I type up a Microsoft Word document summarizing my opinions about our tax return, and then I send all that information to my CPA. We typically have another follow-up call after that, and then we typically email and speak throughout the entire process in the event he has any questions for me or I have any questions for him. And then we'll kind of maybe have like a quick five or 10 minute chat real quick right before I send him back my signatures or right before he sends me more information. But we definitely speak one more time before we end up filing the actual tax return. So let's take a quick minute and let's go through each and every single one of those three things. Red light. Hope I didn't get pulled over. Okay, talking with your CPA. If you are in, let's just say, your first two or three years of working with your current CPA, you're gonna wanna ask just a ton of questions. What questions should you be asking? Well, just make a list. Get prepared before you speak with your CPA. Don't waste their time. Spend a little bit of time typing up some questions that you know are important to you, that you know you want to ask. You know, and it could be a list of anything. It could be a list of questions that you have no clue what they're about. You've heard on some YouTube video or a buddy of yours or a girlfriend of yours was talking about it and you wanna learn more about it. So type up some questions and ask them. Or, you know, shoot, even if it's something that you just wanna get a better understanding of, type up questions and ask a ton of questions. Anything that you just wanna learn a little bit more about. You also want to learn from them what has changed in the tax laws in the last 12 months. Because if there's one thing that we know is true, it's that tax laws are constantly changing. So you're gonna wanna make sure that if you're not reading articles or staying up to date yourself throughout the year, you're gonna wanna make sure you have a good understanding of what's changed both for the previous tax year as well as for the current tax year that you're in. And then you also want to inform them of what's changed in your life. Um, you know, did you have another child? Did you buy or sell anything of value? Did you uh, buy a home? Did you sell a home? Did you buy a car? Did you sell a car? You know, you might not really think about it, but the state and local taxes, that actually does add up. So if you bought a large, you know, expensive item and you paid some sales tax on that, you're gonna wanna let them know because that's gonna be added to your tax return as well if, uh, if it's enough. Well, not if it's enough, what am I saying? Just let them know. Number two, reviewing your P&L statements, your profit and loss statements. You know, what I would tell you is if you do not look at and update your P&Ls monthly or quarterly, then yeah, this is, uh, this is gonna take you a long time. Now, you're, you're gonna have to really dedicate and allocate a certain amount of time to update your P&Ls if you don't look at them regularly. However, if you do update them regularly, Blah. If you do update them regularly, then this is a little bit more of like a quick audit. It shouldn't be that much time. You'll kind of glance at them, make sure that you have everything filled out, make sure that you didn't forget any large purchases and whatnot. But at the end of the day, you're gonna wanna make sure that you look at your P&Ls regularly because it makes tax filing season and doing your taxes substantially easier, in my opinion. Oh, and also, when you review your P&Ls monthly, you know, I gotta tell you, you don't really miss much. Um, but reviewing it before sending it to your CPA is just smart because that is what they and you will use as part of your documentation to justify any business deductions or write-offs. And then again, you don't necessarily have to do this. You don't have to send your CPA all your checking account statements, all of your credit card statements. You don't have to do that. You can just retain those for your record, which is why, which is what I do. And then I just send them, send him my P&L, and then we kind of discuss that at the high level. And then I just hold on to all that other documentation 
you know, just in case IRS ever comes knocking. Ooh, also, quick little bonus tip for you here. For those of you with 1099 income or side hustle income or, or really just any income you generate where you get paid in your name directly and not in the name of like a, a company, but I mean, shoot, if you're self-employed, you're self-employed, right? But what I would tell you is make sure you do not co-mingle your money. And what I mean by that is if you have, if you're self-employed, right, and you got some side hustle income, whether it's uh, Lyft or Uber driver, or you know, you, you, you are a firefighter and you do pressure washing on the weekends or on your odd days off, whatever it might be. What I would tell you to do is open up a completely separate checking account. So that way you've got all of your personal expenses over here and all of your business expenses over here. What that will do for you is it will eliminate a lot of stress, a lot of headaches, and a lot of time. Because sometimes, if you don't look at your P&L monthly, if you don't look at it more than once a year, I would strongly recommend that you have a separate checking account or a separate credit card that you use for anything business related because then it makes your P&L review time or it makes going over your taxes that much easier because what you're able to do is just print out all 12 statements for that checking account or all 12 statements for that you know business credit card or whatnot and it makes it really really easy for you to go through and see what you've got personally i've got a personal checking account which we pay like our primary mortgage with and we pay our bills with i've also got a personal charge card we use the amex gold card love it so many points it's fantastic uh and i also have a separate Amex gold card that I run all of my business purchases through. Like today, I bought some I bought some new gear for my YouTube channel, so I put that purchase on my business card. So what I would tell you to do, again, just to repeat this one more time, don't co-mingle your money. Have your side hustle income set to the side. Have your side hustle expenses set to the side and run those expenses and those revenues through a different checking account. It will make your life way easier when you're trying to track and monitor all these things. So bonus tip for you. Okay, number three, the third thing that I do is I type up a Microsoft Word document that really just summarizes my entire tax return. Now this is just something I do for myself. It's probably a little overkill, kind of like a belt and suspenders type of approach. But at the end of the day, what I do is take basically almost my entire tax return and just type it up in a quick little two page, three page Microsoft Word document. And I put at the top, you know, revenue, a description of the family, and then I list out all of our expenses. You know, I kind of try to do it in the order of the 1040, right? So you, if you just look at the first page of your 1040 and then you get your Schedule A, your Schedule C, and then you have all the other tax forms that go file after that. I do try to put it in that order, but at the end of the day, it's just a Microsoft Word document. And it's just me typing it up, putting in my own opinions here. Man, some people crossing the road, what are they doing? Anyway. Uh, my CPA loves me for doing this. Like I said, it's a little overkill, but he tells me every single tax year how much he loves me and how much he appreciates me working with him and doing all of this upfront legwork that I do because at the end of the day, uh, it kind of helps him do his job, right? It, it gives him a better understanding of my thoughts and my logic as to what I think should be happening with my tax return and it helps paint the picture a little bit because how often do you really talk to your CPA? I mean, if he or she is like a buddy of yours, sure, maybe you might talk right. Hold on, here's Diana. I'm literally, I'm literally filming a video right now. So do you wanna go in and get them? Okay, well, we'll see you at home. No, I'll go, it's fine, I'll see you at home. Okay. All right, little miscommunication there. I thought I was picking up the kids. Turns out Diana's picking up the kids and now she's driving away. So it looks like I'm picking them up. Anyway, at the end of the day, do you have to do this? No, you certainly don't. But I gotta tell you, my CPA loves the fact that I do this because what does that do for me? That makes me a little bit smarter. I'm reviewing my P&Ls. I'm looking at my checking account statements, my credit card statements. I'm very in touch and smart with what I'm doing within my business and how that relates to my taxes. And then putting this Microsoft Word document together is great because it really just summarizes everything for him to read and it puts us, he and I kind of on the same page, if you will. So anyway, all right, well, that's pretty much it. Hey, listen, 
I'm filming from my car from now on. Well, not from now on, but I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Let me know what you think. This, for me, this is kind of fun. My life over the last 12 months has been real crazy. It's changed a lot. Um, as you guys probably, I know, have been following my channel for a while. I haven't been uploading as regularly as I used to. Uh, so in an effort to fix that, I got some new gear, and I'm going to try to film occasionally from my car from time to time, as in just kind of weave it and work it into my life. So if you like this, kind of off the cuff, I know it wasn't as formal. It wasn't as structured as I have done some of my other videos, but if you like something like this and it wasn't too hard to watch, let me know in the comments below. And if you have any questions about taxes or if you have any questions about investing, personal finances, you know, financial planning, let me know in the comments down below. I love interacting with you guys in that comment section. And if you have any questions, feel welcome to reach out. So, all right, guys, thanks so much. See you in the next one. Still there. Here we go. I'm risking my iPhone to see if this works. What a gamble. <laughs>